Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video. We've got the new content out. This is the second week. The second week just repeats, so it's the same as the first week. I was figuring stuff out, so I didn't feel like filming, but uh, now we're going to do it. Um, when it first comes out, there's these things that give you some buffs or like debuffs the enemies or whatnot. My team has already done that. And then you get three groups of these bosses. This guy, this guy, and this guy. And you notice those were at like 18 million health, and then there's more of these. Same group of three at 24, and then there's the same group of three at 30 million. I'm doing just a tiny hair under 18 million. If I could have one-shot that guy um, and do the 18 million, then I would have. But since I, I can't, I'm doing just so close to 18 mil that I'm actually going to come over here and I'm going to fight this guy. Because you're just trying to maximize, you know, you want to kill the bosses in the least number of hits so you can use more hits on other stuff, etc. You guys know how it goes. Um, hopefully I will do that. So we're aiming for about 18 million damage. If I do anything close to that, that'll be good. Also, I'm using three statues. So the higher health boss means I'll get more uptime on my statues, theoretically. So I wouldn't be surprised if I was able, if I don't screw this up. Um, I don't like when he jumps so early. So that, that's also one thing that can mess you up. But if I don't screw this up, then I'm hoping, thinking, that I could be able to um, to get over 18, though. So here we go. It is also extremely cold here. It's like 50 degrees, and I don't feel like putting any heat on or anything. So it's quite cold, and my hands are cold, and I've got a good chance of screwing this up. I found that if I kind of like angle him into the wall, that charge right there that just you just saw doesn't go anywhere. So you can pretty much chill here. He will eventually jump, and I'm not trying to time my interruption um, to do anything, whatever. I, yikes. Um, that's just kind of RNG in that one for me, at least. And I can just face tank these. It's an easy boss. We're going to try to go through this pretty quick here so that everybody gets their damage in. That's, wow. I For a second, I thought I was really low, but I did, um, what was it? I did... 18.8, 18.7, and then this is a, uh, excuse me, 17.8, uh, 17.7, then we did 17.6. As far as, like, practice damage versus actual damage, that's not, that's not bad. And then definitely one of our my guildy boys can, um, can clear that out. So, whatever. Not too bad. And then we're going to go and find another boss. Dark team is my best team. So, uh, we're going to figure this out. Who am I going to do next? This takes basic team, even though basic's kind of questionable. This takes earth. Let's go do earth team. You know, let's do basic team next. That way I can leave some earth equipment on. Oh no, this is light, duh. And let me just double check, make sure, is there any light? Since I'm using Nari, I don't need any light on my Earth team, because, yeah, that's fine. I don't have an Earth basket for, or I don't have a light basket for Nari. So it's just kind of, it is what it is. But let's do the old swapper so you guys get to see my gear. It's been a while. We're going to put the Minotaur on here, mainly because the weapon attack regen speed. And then over here, since you're doing the right damage... We're going to put the Minotaurs on here and put attack everything. This is kind of slightly killing my thumbs because it's so freaking cold. I kind of like it though. And you see some defensive stuff on here. In the later rounds, I plan on filming everything this go through. Um, but in the later rounds, you have to put some defense on. Um, just to make your heroes survive the night. Let's put this here. I'm slow close to finishing that last minnow. I just need... Not minnow, um, that last statue. I just need the thing and the stuff. You know what I'm talking about. And then you've got light over here. Oop, oh, Arabelle, you don't need that because you just finished. I'm getting pretty... I've got a bunch of green hammers and I've got enough hero crystals to limit break one more weapon in hero. And I'm just waiting to see what's coming down the pipe. I'm going to go see what's on the, the Korea servers. Actually, I think I know what it is. It's it's that basic melee thing. We'll talk about that when the time comes. But I'm just waiting to finish out these various teams so I don't have to use mixed teams anymore, but whatever. Hopefully, Nari doesn't get completely melted for no reason. And I don't know if there's any trick to this boss. I don't remember. 
Oh, he just runs away constantly, yeah. Mega me miss. I do try to take some hits, because if you take some damage, then um, you get the damage boost that you see on my character right here. So I'm soaking this stuff intentionally. I'm also not doing great movement. We're doing Nari first, because Nari gives a crit thing. Then we're doing the Elvira. Not Elvira, we're doing... What's that girl's name? Something. Elmer's Glue? I don't remember her name. Hopefully he didn't miss too much of my weapon skill there. And that looked like that hit a good amount. I'm trying to get that Gabe buff by getting hit by all this stuff. These bosses are low level because it's round one and I'm, I'm like taking no damage. In fact, they're, they're healing me faster than anything else. So here we're gonna go rapid fire because I'm concerned about time. So I just mashed all the skills. All right, yeah, 16 mil. I'll, I'll do that. Could have been better, could have been worse. This boss can be kind of RNG and all over the place. So 16, again, this is a low level boss. Um, we don't have all of the defense minuses. I don't really know how the buffs and debuffs and whatnot work on this. Oh, that's someone else. That's not the one that I did. Yeah, so, so see how this turned green? Up here, someone did the this guy. But I'm down here. Doing my thing. Where are you at? This is the one I want to do. So I'm going to go in here. This is the real attack. So if I could do, I think I did 16 million. If I can do 16 again, I'd be very happy with that. Then someone will come in here doing 15. So hopefully we'll just do what we got to do. But like I said, low level boss. Not really doing any damage. Um, MK has a special five star ability that if I'm a certain distance from the boss, that I do more damage. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to get that Gabe. I think the Gabe buff is 30%. There we go. Just a little bit of that and that. And a little bit of this. There we go. He's going to move. He's going to move. He's not moving. I held my weapon skill a little bit longer. I think you need to do like four weapon skills to get your chain. So, messing up your chain timing is just real bad. Or if he ducks something, this is the boss that ducks under stuff. So there we go. But we seem to be doing okay. If I get two chains in. I like having the weapon skill regen on the... Um, on the accessory. Just to give me a little bit more wiggle room. And I didn't get the last weapon skill off. So, there it goes. Pretty good. How much do we do? Over 16 mil. I'm fine with that. And then, uh, what's the last one? I think we're doing Earth Team. I haven't showed off my Earth Team in a couple minutes. So let's go do that. Reservoir Snakes. What is this? Oh, Supply Trucks. Is this the one? Yeah, th this is the one, okay. I looked at him like, why are you 24 mil health? And you're 30 mil health. And you're 30 mil health. And you're... Where's the 30 million health water boss? 18, 24, am I freaking blind? This is a truck, that's a truck. Is there no 30 million health water boy? That's a truck, I know that's a truck. I'm almost done. I don't get it. There's no 30 million health water boy. Whatever. And then over here, same deal. We're gonna put the minnow on there. I did MLB my dark minnow, so we got that extra plus five damage. I'm very plus five percent damage. Happy about that. But the grind continues. Make sure he's got his correct weapon in. She does the second most amount of damage, so she also gets the best statue and then the best. Oh, my thumb is killing me. It's so cold. But I'm not willing to do anything about it. Crazy how that works out. She's got crit cards on. I'm just going to leave that. And then I guess Tinia is going to get the next thing. I don't know if Tinia does more damage than. Um, than May real. But you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. Attack. 
All right. Hopefully I got the right stuff on everybody. I honestly should just MLB everybody on the Earth team because it's already a set team. I know Earth range is going to be Earth range for a long time. And I'm just sitting around holding um, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of resources. All their weapons are MLB. It's just the hero crystals. And like I'm really leaning towards MLB and Tinia because Tinia will swap and be on different teams and this and that. But I feel like as soon as I do that, they're going to come out with some baller hero for the dark team or some insane basic Garam that fixes um, basic ranged. Uh, and then I'm not going to have any hero crystals. But I really shouldn't just be holding them. I don't know. I should just go in. Whatever. By the time the new boss comes out, I'm going to have enough hero crystals to, to do two. So whatever. This guy, I'm just going to face tank him. I don't think he does anything that I should care about. Again, it's a low level boss. So my damage is very padded. Don't think I went from doing like 12 million to doing like all this. I could have put that in the corner and not nuked my team, but we, we got support here. Who cares? You know, I think we're okay. I'm just seeing how long I can hold these chains. Looks cool. I'm not a big fan of like visual noise and all that stuff, but like the cam, the cam Kamehameha Dragon Ball Z looking thing is actually pretty cool. I guess I'll just get on the other side of him. I cannot pull aggro. Am I not going to... Ooh, I'm lucky that hit. For a second I thought I was gonna do it. Okay, so I don't wanna hold these hits too long. Got it. I did a very long chain, but I think it takes four weapon skills to get a chain off. Um, so we can, we can pump these numbers up a little bit. My Earth team should be getting pretty close to my Dark team. If I MLB'd one more hero with the hero crystals, I think Earth and Dark would do the same. But anyways, all right. This is real the Rizzle Dizzle. Um, I should be able to film a video for each of the phases. Um, we were able to kill the main boss that you're supposed to kill um, and whatnot. But I just didn't want to film anything while I was figuring stuff out because, like, I'm, I mean, I'm still figuring stuff out, but it's just like, eh. Do you really want to see me fumbling around? Probably not. What's up, boy? I don't mind. You can put me on the wall. But I don't want to stand directly on that and just get completely melted by it. There we go. And then I don't want to hold too long on stuff. Like on downed, I'm just going to go right through it. There's no point in me keeping him down. It's nice to keep the boss stunned for a longer time, but we... Um, had difficulty getting the second chain in, so we're just gonna deal with it. One more. Doing fine on time. Enjoy the airborne. Alright, let's get out of here. There it is. 20 mil. Wow, we out damaged our dark team. I think that's the first time that's happened. Yeah. Am I just blind and there was a 30 million water boss, or am I just blind? Because this would have been a better hit on that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the, all these bosses are going to take two hits. It doesn't matter if I do 20 million and they do the rest, or if I do you know 12 and 12, whatever. Those are three hits. Uh, here's the new stuff. It is fun. Look at me. I'm, doing, I'm down there doing a little. Look at, look at three gavs. This is the dream. Three Ogmas down there pumping away. So anyways, I'm hoping to do a video on each of the different phases, so we'll get one more phase here with this one, and then this one, and then this little last little piece here, but we did our first run through, no big deal, um, kind of fun. At first when it came out, I was like, oh my goodness, are they making it complicated? Are they going to make people not want to do raids and stuff? Because the downside of doing raids in the original form is coordinating boss hits and who does the clear and wasted damage and shame and all that kind of stuff. Um... So I was wondering if they're going to make it add a new thing that's like way too complicated or make it like world um, exploration mode and kind of chase people away. But this is fine. I mean, it does put a little bit of pressure on the guild leader to try to mark all the stuff and be around and, okay, these got cleared out. Let's mark the next things and so on. But like after the first week or two, your guild's going to pretty much know what's going on. Now, they will add more complicated versions of this and hopefully as people learn and grow and whatnot, that it won't be a big deal. But you'd... As you notice, you do these things, and then it re reduces the defense on the boss and makes the boss easier or something. You have to clear all those so you can take the shields off this building in the middle 
and then you can actually attack it. And then these trucks give you like, I don't know. I guess they just give you coffee. Maybe it's for like low guilds that can't do anything because it's only one, one point whatever million. But you're trying to maximize all your hits. So I don't know. 10 coffee is nice. But whatever. You gotta do all this stuff. Anyways, that's what's up. That is the first video on this, and then we'll do more in the future. Like I said, if you've heard it before, you'll hear it again. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.